Hello. Good Friday afternoon to all of you. Welcome to our lunch chat. I've stacked up so much stuff all around me that I want to show you today. I'm trying to decide still if I should save some of this for Tuesday, but I don't know. Some I just get too excited, so it probably will get the best of me, and I'll just end up going through all of it today. <laughs> Buckle up. I'm going to show it all to you. Once again, I have made my tea too close to the start time, so I can't actually sip it yet without burning myself. Hi, Bert. Hi, Margo. Um, yeah, happy Friday, everybody. TGIF. We made it through another week. We should all be celebrating every week that we get to make it through. Becca says, show it all. Okay, Becca, I will. Just for you. Yes, indeed, it is Friday. Um, I'm looking forward to getting some... <laughs> getting my sleeves done on that fiad. Got my, uh, this thing, collar, got my shawl collar done. Didn't go as bad as I thought it would. I thought it was just going to be, I don't know why I thought that. Anyways, it's done. And I am happy to report I'm past the elbow on one of my sleeves. So that's the beauty of the drop shoulder sweater is the sleeves go fast because there's just not that much of them, especially when you have short arms like I do. So um, yesterday at the end of the night, I had worked on it for a little bit last night and I was like, oh, I just haven't gone very far, but I'm going to throw it on really quick and see where I'm at. And I was past the elbow and I was like, yes, that means I definitely can get that one done and started with the last one and then I can block it and be done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, everybody wants to see it all. Okay, you guys. Clearly, that is the message I am receiving. Um, I just sent an email out to those of you waiting on Felice for our knit along for next week, and you still have to wait. I'm so sorry. Uh, it was supposed to be here today, as of yesterday at 3:30. That's still the, the um, UPS tracking still said today. Then the UPS man brought other things today, not that box, and I was like, no, please. So I went and I checked the tracking, and guess what? Now it's Monday. It's in Hermiston though, which means it's only a few hours away. That's that's positive. That means it's really truly on its way. Um, but it's not gonna make it out on a delivery truck today. So if you're still waiting for your Felice yarn, please, please, please don't worry. Um, it'll get to you before Friday, which is our first Zoom meetup. And we'll talk about swatching and, and fit and drape on Friday. So plenty of time. Don't worry. Don't panic. We will ship it to you Monday. I'll be in Monday. Campbell will be in. And the minute we get that box, we're going to tear it open and just ship it all out. So hang in there, guys. I mean, shipping delay is just a regular part of life now, right? <laughs> I really hope not. Oh, gosh. Um, so, yeah, that's your update on Felice and the Azalea did along. But I don't think it's going to impact our, our kickoff on Friday. So do not worry about that. Okay, let's see. Should we talk about new stuff? <laughs> um, which one should I start? What should I start with? Okay, I'm going to start with Appalachian Baby because what better time of year to talk about baby stuff? Springtime, that's always baby, baby land. And then the yarn is just beautiful and it's organic cotton. And so we just got a full restock of Appalachian Baby. And I they sent the cutest little sampler bag. And um, I know it's in behind the organza, so you can't really get a tell, feel for it, but they sent little sample balls of every color that they have. So they have a couple blues, a couple pinks, a red, a couple greens, and then there are three natural cotton colors. They've got a silvery one, a natural cream, and a kind of a dough color. And so this restock, in addition to having the yarn restock, came with some of the cutest kits. And I'm going to show you a few of those now. Oh, first, I'll, first, let me show you some of our samples in this cotton so you have an idea. This is um, the Picnic Blanket. And it's kind of like a sampler blanket, and it uses the three natural shades, the silver, the dough, and the cream. And it's a kit that you can buy that comes with six balls of yarn in the pattern. And it is such a lovely gift to, make, to give to um, an expecting family and a new baby. It's washable, the cotton feels amazing, it's organic, so you know it wasn't uh, made with formaldehyde, which is such an important thing. So that's the Picanic, Picanit, <laughs> not Picanic. <laughs> now I'm the bear, now I'm Yogi Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna have a Picanic. <laughs> 
Okay. Uh, clearly it's Friday. Um, pick a knit. And that's, that's alluding to the uh, kind of sampler quality that this has where you, you change up your stitch pattern frequently. Okay. So this is another sample we've done in the, um, Appalachian baby organic cotton. This is one of, um, this is the Elizabeth Zimmerman baby surprise sweater. And it, we just striped it at will, you know, and that's the beauty of this sweater is that you can stripe whenever you don't have to plan out your stripes or anything. It will make it perfectly symmetrical because of the way the pattern is designed. So that's such a great one for, um, a sweet little baby present. That's the Elizabeth, the uh, baby surprise jacket from Elizabeth Zimmerman. And then this is a, a, um, this is an Appalachian baby pattern. This is called the Hill and Holler cardigan, and it's the sweetest little grandpa cardigan. And, um, this is done in the natural with the indigo as a stripe. So super, super cute. These are all projects you could do in, um, the Appalachian baby. And then we got we got some new kits and this included some samples. So, which I love it when a company wants to send me samples. I'm wearing one of those. This is the Sweet Dreams Baby Blanket. And this one is an indigo and we have it in three colors and it's just a really great, you can kind of see the texture. It's a waffle kind of knit pattern. Um, and it would make a really great gift. And I think it's an indigo blush and maybe sky blue, I think. So that's a great one. And then we got this beautiful kit. Look at this. Look at this sweet, sweet little baby poncho. Isn't this adorable? It's got a hood. And it's got this cute little pattern here along one side. So we have a kit for that. It's so cute. It's just called the Baby Doe Poncho. And that's um, that's there. And then look at this. Oh, sorry, I put it on the floor, which is silly. This is a cute little stuffy. It's an owl. It's like a little mini pillow. And it's got, it's a kit that has a, a big skein of the, um, of the natural cotton. And then it's got a little bit of uh, gold for you to do the eyes. So cute. So cute. Hi, Z. Um, so lots of other stuff. There's a, there's other kits that we didn't get samples for, but um, all of that's now on the website. There's some cute little hats that are like little baby berets. It's called the boho hat. Um, so, so cute. So all of that stuff's up on the website now. Just, just look for Appalachian baby. And um, yeah, so fun. Okay, maybe I could sort through my pile a little bit here clear out what I've shown you so I can move on. Um, all right. Some of you guys are wising up to the way things work around here and checking the website the morning before I do a video to see if new Kara bags are perhaps up because they are. <laughs> and a couple of them have already sold this morning. So that means that y'all are smart. Um, so we just got more bags from Kara. We got seven different, well, a couple of these have sold, but these beauties, look at spinners. This one's got a spinning wheel. It's so beautiful. These are the carded around where they have that inner lining that can extend up and cinch together so you can really shove it full of stuff. And then they have this great outer zip pocket. So we have new carded arounds. We have new zipper pouches in fun fabrics. This is a cute one with a um, cat with all tangled up in yarn, kitties and yarn, kitties and string. Uh, so lots of new zipper pouches. And then also everyone's favorite, the bucket bags. So this is again, the spinning one. Um, I think we got 14 bucket bags in. So these are the, the ones that fold over like this, um, have a nice sturdy bottom. So that, you know, that's standing up on its own, but also if you really need to get it full, you can just unfold it like that, and then you can use the um, cords to cinch it up and really stuff that puppy full. So she got some new fabrics. There's plants, um, spinning, needlework, cute little gold sheep with gray polka dot in, uh, inner lining. So you can check all of that out. Cute new, cute new Cardies. That Cardi Bell. She's just always on it with the beautiful, beautiful new stuff. So, okay. Whew. We're halfway through. Let me have a sip of my tea. Let me see if it's cool enough to drink. Oh, that's perfect. Mm, love me some Earl Grey. 
Okay. Oh, also, quick note. Uh, these sold out so fast last time, and we just got restocked. So if you tried to get one of these um, neck lamps, the repositionable that you can, like, do -do -do -do, uh, use while you're knitting, we're restocked in all four colors. So those are on the website, too, the, um, the great LED neck lamps. Okay, let's go on to... Okay, real quick, I'll just tell you we got a huge Malabrigo restock. Thank goodness. Um, Malabrigo has been hard to come by these days, and all every yarn shop in the country is fight, fighting for a restock when they get a new shipment. <laughs> it's, we all love each other, but it gets, a, you know, it's tight. It's like, oh, I'm not, am I going to tell anybody about this restock? So we were able, we were very fortunate, thank you, Malabrigo, to snag a restock of, I look at, I am in a spring frame of mind. Look at these three things that I pulled to show you. Do we have a palette going here or what? You should see the, what's the rest is in the basket. It also matches this. Um, it's not Plum Deluxe, Rachel. Um, I, ha I have a ton of Plum Deluxe tea. They used to be a vendor at my fiber festival. And I love Plum Deluxe. But here at the store, I just have stash, just like cheap tea bags. Um, so yeah, we've got Valentina here in the Rasta. And then right here in the middle, this beautiful Rios is Lotus. And then this is Malabrigo sock in fuchsia. Or no, no, sorry, in light of love. Light of love. So we got restocked in all three of these. We have good quantities now of Rios, sock, and Rasta. Thank you, Malabrigo. Um, feel very lucky. Very lucky to have that. We haven't had much Rasta in a long time. Okay, the last two new things I'm going to show you are some fun things we've got. Haiku Caribou. Look at that cute label. Isn't that adorable? This is a fuzzy nylon yarn. So this is just for, you know, a very specific thing. Like when you're looking for a fuzzy nylon yarn, but it makes great liners on kids stuff. They have some adorable stuffed bear patterns for this yarn that are really cute. And I'm telling you guys, this is soft. This is very, 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 very soft. This is like rub against your most sensitive part, soft. So, um, you know, like the trim on our Santa hats, etc. that it comes in a full range of colors. It's got naturals and colors. So I've got one of the naturals in here and one of the dyed ones here. And well, that's all dyed. What am I talking about? It's nylon, but you get the drift. And so, um, if you're in need of some fun kid stuff, or there's actually a really cute cowl on Ravelry that uses this, um, it's a, a regular yarn on the outside of the cowl, and then the, the inside is knit in a layer of this. So it's really, really soft around your neck. Um, I'm gonna, I haven't seen it yet. Jill told me about it, but I'm going to check it out. So Haiku Caribou, that's on our website. And then, okay, last but not least, I'm very excited about this one. This is called Edition 3 from Shopple. And this stuff, you guys, is the same weight and effect as say spin cycle or entropy dk or shepherd's wool crazy so it goes in these great gradient two ply colors so so fun and we got in a bunch of colors and i'm going to show you some of the cool things you can do with it so do you remember when i wore a worm hat a couple of weeks ago when i did the shop tour and people were asking about my hat it is great out of this kind of yarn this is one that we did in entropy but it would do the same exact thing in this this colorway is even very close um in the shopple edition three so these are 50 gram balls so you would need two balls to do a worm hat but you could also do my swirly cowl this is a really fun color work cowl that has a, a big swirl on this side or you can turn it the other way around and it has a small swirl on the other side you could wear it both ways it would be really fun so you just need a yarn like um ultra wool dk or something as your background color and it would be really fun to get through all of these colors in a pattern like this so that's swirly whoop, and addition three and then i don't know if you guys have ever seen the buffy um, Buffy the Cold Weather Slayer. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but I'm going to show it to you again, I guess. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you don't get a choice. <laughs> okay, one sec. Okay, so Buffy is a really fun, really straightforward pattern. It's available on Ravelry. It's called Buffy the Cold Weather Slayer. And you basically knit a big tube. And I've turned it inside out 
right now to show you one of the cool things about it. So you can wear it as a fun scrunched up little um, cowl around your neck, nice and cozy, but you can also convert it to be a hat by, you take, you turn the tube inside out and you give it a little bit of a twist, like yay. Uh, we'll go a little bit there. And then you fold it over in half on itself like this. All right, and now it's a hat. See if I can put it on without losing my fold. It's a cute slouchy hat. And you can wear it either way, depending on which way you wanna twist it. And it's all nice and cozy and it's double thickness and warm. And so this yarn would be perfect because you're gonna get these, you're gonna get stripes kind of like this, a little bit more regular. This one was made, we did our sample out of the Shepherd's Crazy, which is a truly, truly unpredictable um, striping yarn made with leftovers of Shepherd's Wool. Like no two skeins are the same, but it works great in other like Entropy or in like this edition three. And it would take two balls of edition three. So here it is just in its full tube length. Um, and then if you want, you can, you know, let's say you're wearing a cowl, you're out and the, the, the reins picks up and you want to put a hat on instead and you take that off, give it a twist just on the head. There you go. Magic. Thank you, Julia, for sharing all these links. I didn't give you any heads up and I just like dropped, I just dropped all kinds of things into this, into this video. Buffy is one of our top selling patterns here. And in fact, I got an uh, email from the designer. It was probably two years ago maybe a year ago. I can't remember. It was maybe it was pre COVID. Everything's just pre COVID now. Um, and she said, she was thanking me. She said that we sell more patterns of her Buffy, the cold weather slayer than any other shop, <laughs> but it's because we have this great sample. And once people see how fun it is in these striping yarns, you just can't stop. You get one. So basically what happens is with a Buffy, it would be really fun to use two different colors like this. You'll get halfway through the second ball, sorry, of the second color. And then, um, you just then then you just need one more <laughs> and another color so that you can make a second one right and then <laughs> and on and on and on it goes so yeah that's all the fun new stuff that I stacked up in here to show you it's a lot of good stuff it feels good to fill the shop up oh, we just have been operating on such a low low for us amount of inventory uh, it's hard but um, I'm making room for all this great new stuff. We have more stuff coming next week, but you know what's happening next week? You guys are getting on a little secret because we're bringing back something we used to do years and years and years ago before we had our semi-annual clearance sales. We had March Madness and we're going to do it again. So March Madness is basically Sarah needs to get rid of all the yarn she can't stand to look at in the store anymore and she puts it all on sale so that is going to happen on march 1st and there's uh, an email that'll go out so you'll get an alert but basically tune in go to the website on march 1st you'll find great deals up to 75 percent off some stuff and um it's going until it's gone so yay march madness is back we didn't do our semi-annual sale after christmas this year because i just didn't feel like we had enough inventory really to sell we didn't have things to put on sale, but we're ready now. So, um, I love sale time because I love, I'm a purger. <laughs> if you don't know that yet, you do now. <laughs> I do not hang on to things. <laughs> I'm not a hoarder. I'm the opposite of a hoarder. Sometimes my husband worries that our children will have no mementos and, uh, treasures <laughs> from their childhood. Cause I'm like, get rid of it, get rid of it. <laughs> Goodbye. But it makes for a really good sale because Sarah wants to get rid of all the yarn so she can bring in new yarn. Sorry, I'll stop talking about myself in the third person. Okay, Sue, so I was ready for that question and I have that all popped up and ready to go. I am wearing the Maria sweater from Rowan and it was knit in um, Rowan Sultano Fine. And I won this finished sweater at a Rowan conference um, a couple years ago in 2019 and it got delivered to me in 2020 it took a little while but it's a beautiful lovely sweater in their cashmere silk yarn and uh, i don't currently carry that yarn we're out i'm probably i will probably bring it back at some point assuming it's still around like this fall but the pattern's free and it's a lovely sweater um so i encourage you all it's like a dk it's kind of on this the light dk range um th 23 stitches to the edge and stock in it so 
they I would call Sultano fine closer to a sport weight for, than a DK but um yeah it's a very lovely one thanks for asking it's keeping me nice and cozy it's a dark and dreary day today very stormy dark and stormy it was a dark and stormy night okay you guys uh I think I've put you through enough for the last 21 minutes and I'm gonna let you go and so don't forget to check out the sale on Monday and I'll see you all back here same time same place on Tuesday bye